Hey guys, I'm a huge fan of salmon for all of its health benefits, and I usually eat it once or twice a week. So today I'm gonna show you how to make my super delicious and extremely flavorful salmon patties. Now, my version of salmon patties is made with fresh, wild-caught salmon, a little bit of sauteed veggies, and fresh herbs. And even better is that they're gluten-free and paleo-friendly. But before we dive into the video, I have two quick reminders. First, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And second, make sure that you always scroll below the video to see the first comment. I always write the first comment, and sometimes there are tips or a question, or in the case of last week, there was a giveaway, and you don't wanna miss those. All right, that's enough with the reminders. Let's dive into this recipe. I'm making this recipe today with fresh sockeye salmon, but you could also make it with coho or king salmon, or even canned salmon. Because each of these types of salmon are slightly different, make sure to check out the full recipe on my website for more tips. Place the salmon on a parchment lined baking tray, drizzle it with a little olive oil, and give it a generous sprinkle of salt and pepper. Then cook it for 10 to 13 minutes or until it's just cooked through. You really don't wanna overcook it because you want it to stay moist for the patties. While the salmon is cooking, finely dice one onion and one red bell pepper. You don't want huge chunks of veggies in the patties, so do try to keep your dice fairly small. Then chop up a few tablespoons of fresh dill and about a third of a cup of fresh parsley. Remove the salmon from the oven and transfer it to a plate. Then place the salmon in the fridge for about five to 10 minutes or until it's completely cooled. When the salmon is cool to the touch, use your hands to flake it into small pieces and place those pieces in a mixing bowl. Now, I usually do this next step while the salmon is cooling, but I got a little sidetracked while filming this video. So you'll saute the onion and bell pepper until it's soft and translucent. Then remove it from the heat and let it cool. You want everything to be cool so that when we add our eggs on top of these ingredients, you don't accidentally end up with scrambled eggs. All right, so to our cooled salmon and sauteed veggies, we'll add the dill, parsley, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one garlic clove, a half a cup of almond flour, and two eggs. Use your hands to really dig in and mix everything together. Then form the salmon ball into small patties. Add several tablespoons of olive oil to a pan and cook the patties for about three to four minutes on each side. Once they're cooked through, transfer them to a paper towel lined plate to remove any excess oil and serve them up. I'm serving these salmon patties with a lemon dill mayonnaise today, and I have this posted on the recipe page as well. And that's it. I guarantee that these salmon patties will soon be a family favorite. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post next week's video.